I, I want to respond primarily to, to, to what Nick said. Uh, a, I do agree that there's a difference between an Article V convention, which I read the Constitution to contemplate, some creature that would be an Article V convention, and a totally new convention of the sort that I think Sandy Levinson, though he can speak for himself, advocates. It's just that I don't know the meets and bounds of those differences. Now, does that lead me to think we should never have another Article V convention? No, I agree very much with Nick. There's a first time for everything. And I do believe that there may be certain kinds of systemic breakdowns where a large majority of the people of the United States want something to happen. For example, and I take this just as an example, they want to limit the ability of amassed corporate wealth to dominate American politics. Now, I count myself as... I count myself as part of, of that group. I've helped people in Congress to introduce an amendment that would try specifically to overturn Citizens United. It was introduced by Donna Edwards uh, just a few days ago. But it may be the case that the very things that make us want to change the influence of corporate money on politics will make it essentially inconceivable that Congress would propose that amendment to the states. Now, if we get that kind of, of lockdown, which is what I think led, though he can certainly speak for himself, Larry Lessig to suggest the exploration of, of a new convention, then I think we're at least in the territory where there's a, a perhaps a plausible systemic case for a limited purpose convention, assuming enough people can be convinced that it could be limited. I don't think, and that's why I think it's sort of an interesting question whether we can take the people who favor a convention in that direction, which I would say the left direction, and those who favor a convention to restrict the national debt or a convention to restrict national power over commerce, it's hard for me to imagine how those two vectors can come together. And it's the second impulse, which I think is largely, though I can't speak for the Tea Party, I don't know that I understand all of its philosophies, but I think that that's a large part of what animates the Tea Party. Smaller national government, less taxes, smaller debt. Now, I don't see ordinary politics as incapable of producing that. They've been pretty damn successful in moving in that direction so far. So I don't see that as similar in a structural sense to the Citizens United problem. And if we're going to limit the experiment of an Article V convention to situations where we really have a plausible argument that we are inherently locked out of making a change through the ordinary amendment process, if we're going to limit it in that way, then I don't see that as a plausible occasion for having a convention. If I may just quickly. Uh, quickly. Uh, quickly. Very quickly. Very quickly. Uh, first of all, thank you for, for having the flexibility to acknowledge that there is a point in time for an Article 5 convention. I think